642, welcome back. Finding the silver lining with these well below normal temperatures, we know that can be hard, uh, but we <laughs> may have found one for you. That's right. New this morning, meteorologist Amber Wheeler is here to explain what makes a sun dog in this week's weather wise. Amber? Well, you know, I get pictures all the time of, from viewers of sun dogs, and I love getting them. In fact, mm -hmm. I can't get enough of them because they are so beautiful. Yes. But uh, rarely do we get video. Take a look at this video here uh, from our own assistant news director. She was on her way back from Fargo, and it was a beautiful and sunny day, which made it so much easier to be able to see this uh, beautiful sun dog here, as you can see as she was driving down I-94 again between Fargo and Bismarck, kind of moving through that blowing snow as well. And of course, the, the spots are aligned perfectly on either side of the sun, about 22 degrees on the left and the right. Uh, it isn't always on uh, both sides, but it most of the time is. Now, I know you're wondering, why does this happen? Well, light from the sun refracts through the ice crystals in the air, and sometimes those ice crystals are hexagonal and they can bend the light. This creates the light on either side of the sun. Now, it's also the reason why we see a rainbow breaking apart light breaks it down to its component colors. Sun dogs are usually seen uh, really close to the horizon, so typically around sunrise and sunset. Here's an example you can see on both sides of the sun there. You have that spot and they're perfectly aligned and they're perfectly at 22 degrees. Now, the same can be said for sun halos. This is light bending through the ice crystals and that causes that ring around the sun. This optical phenomenon also happens at night with the moonlight and around the moon. Now, a sun pillar is just a little different. You have the same two ingredients. So you have the ice crystals and you have the light. But in this case, light is actually reflecting off of the ice crystals instead of refracting through them. So perhaps it's probably a little easier to explain at night when you see this photo. This one is not a photo out of focus. This happens to be something someone sent us in. It went viral on our Facebook page. This is of light refract or light rather reflecting off of the ice crystals in the air just before sunrise and mine out one morning this winter. So it was very cold, so you can see here. Uh, but if you want to take a look at these pictures and even more, you can head to our website, kxnet.com. I've got sun dogs, halos, light pillars, you name it on there for you. Tim and Alicia, I know both of you growing up here in North Dakota, surely you have seen sites like this in person, right? Oh, Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And course. you think about the people who are in the south and it's hot and it's warm all the time, they don't get beautiful pictures like this. <laughs> well, I guess right? that's, that's the silver lining. Exactly. That's all we're trying to do is find that, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, you do a nice job of that. That's right. We appreciate it. All uh, right, thanks, Your uh, full weather forecast, by the way, is coming up next.